Hey Sim Stars, it's Cece, and welcome to a brand new Creative Sim. And it's new in a lot of ways, actually, because I just got the brand new um, Cats and Dogs pack, courtesy of EA. They gave me a free code. And it is absolutely amazing, y'all. I am so excited to show you this video. This is me making my own pet family. So I have three cats and a dog, and so I made them all. And the first cat I made is actually my oldest cat named Arthur. Arthur is, um, I was actually fostering kittens when I met her, and I was given to her because she had been found on the side of the road. She was clearly a breeder cat, she's a rag doll, but she was a runt, so, um, they just dropped her off on the side of the road, which is absolutely horrible. So, um, she looks like a calendar cat, she's absolutely gorgeous, piercing blue eyes, um, she does have some markings, and at first I didn't realize that there was a rag doll with some markings on their face, so I tried to paint it like you just saw, and it didn't go so well. Um, I'll fully admit it was not, I, I'm not very good at the painting feature as of right now. So I tried to actually merge her with a Maine Coon, because a Maine Coon has some of the, like, features that I like, but the... The breeder mixing didn't really work very well for me. Like, it basically only gave me, like, ragdoll cats or Maine Coon cats. It didn't really mesh them in the way that I really wanted. So, um, I actually go back and I find the ragdoll with the markings that my little girl has. Um, and that's good because I was worried. I was like, oh no, I want to be able to make my baby. Um, she's going to turn eight this year. I cannot even believe it. So those are her markings on her face, and I'm so glad that I could find them. And she also, I debated a little bit on the, the piercing blue of her eyes, but I ended up with this color, actually. Um, so I decided to actually paint her ears. And the first time I paint her ears, they look horrible. They were way too dark. I just did not do a very good job. Um, you'll see in a second that I just did not do very well. So I actually go over it with a lighter color, and I use the little dropper tool to find that gray in her coat already. So it looks more like a coat, like a color that would actually be in her coat. And that was a much better idea. So I would recommend if you want to paint, like find the color already in their coat. So um, I made her really thin because she is like a very thin, um, very stubby cat. Um, beautiful. Stubby is not ugly. Please make sure you know that. Um, but her coat, like it doesn't really matter if she's thin or not. Like her coat just makes her look exactly the same. Um, and one thing I noticed is that because the panel isn't fully out, I kept forgetting to check their genders. Um, so just a reminder to always make sure to check your gender of your cat or your dog um, so that you can make sure to have the right one. So she came with the lazy trait, which is absolutely true, and then I added in the affectionate trait and the clever trait, um, because those are basically her. Like, that's just so her. Um, I just, I did such a good job. Like, I felt really accomplished making her. <laughs> um, the next cat that I make is actually my second oldest, who's going to be four next year. And her name is Charlie, and Charlie is a big, fat, orange kitten. Not kitten, she's an adult, but I call all cats kittens. Oops, sorry. Um, and she has a lot of really cool markings, so I actually decided to go with this base at first, because um, she has, like, a lot of, like, orange stripes to her. And so this is kind of cool, actually. I decide to, like, play around with the different coats and find, like, one that more suited her because she's not just all orange um she actually has some different patterning to her and i really liked this pattern and i couldn't really figure out how to make it the way i wanted it to be like i wanted her to have a white tummy i wanted her to have like different orange stripes to her um 
it was pretty hard, and to be fair, it was my first time, so everyone be nice to me if I'm not doing exactly perfectly, um, but I end up with um, this really cute cat here that I just absolutely love. I think it looks a lot like Charlie. I just think it's beautiful. Um, I do make her face fatter because she's a fat cat, and she's not going to, you know, she's not ashamed. She loves herself. Um, she's actually got these two big udders in her belly, <laughs> which are so cute. Um, I love her. And then I also, um, painted her ears a little bit more pink than they were before, um, just because she has some more pink ears. Um, but I love it. I just think she looks so cute, and it's amazing how close you can get to what your pet actually looks like. I mean, obviously my pet doesn't have, like, giant, um, beautiful cartoon eyes, but... Um, she looks so good. So then this is the time when I remember, like, oh, wait, I should make sure that she's a girl. <laughs> um, so this is Charlie, um, and I made sure Arthur was a girl as well, and it just lucked out that she was a girl already. So, um, playful was one of the traits that they gave her, which is absolutely true. Um, I also made her affectionate, because all my cats are super affectionate. And I made her a glutton, because that cat likes to eat. So now we get to the dogs, and I'm really, really excited about the dogs. I think that they are so cute. I absolutely love puppies. I love dogs. So my dog is a mix of a Great Pyrenees and a Labrador Retriever. He also has some Boxer in him, but you can only do two, unfortunately. Um, but this looks a lot like him, so I was really excited. I was like, oh my god, it's my buddy. His name is Finn. Um, he's going to be two in January, and he is the cutest, weirdest looking dog, and I love him so much. We jokingly call him a horse dog because he's just like all legs. Um, sometimes we call him a giraffe dog. Um, it's just, there's a lot of things about him that make him adorable. He does have this random black spot on his leg, um, so I did add that in, and as you can look and see, it's only on one leg, which is really nice, so it doesn't have to be on both. And then as far as clothing, he actually, so we live in a very cold state, so we do have a little sweater for him, so I decide to put him in a little sweater, and it's so cute! Like, I'm just dying over how cute the sweater is, like, oh my god, he's so adorable! Um, and then I obviously give him a collar, um, and he does actually have a bright green collar, so it was perfect! Um, so I kept his vocal trait because he is vocal. He's extremely loyal, like he follows us around everywhere. Um, and then I had a little bit of a hard time picking the rest of them, um, but I decided to go with Friendly because he loves meeting new people. Um, and you'll notice I forgot to do his name and his gender, so, <laughs> you know, just a fun thing I forgot. Um, so I had to go back and actually make sure that I did his gender correctly, and I still forgot his name. So the next one up is an actual real kitten. Um, we just adopted him maybe two or three months ago. His name is Baymax. And um, Baymax is just kind of a regular tabby. Um, but he has some unique markings, so I wanted to make sure to do that. And this actually did really well. Like, I was really proud of myself for how I did these markings. They look a lot like what Baymax actually has. So he has some, like white on his back and stuff like that, um, and he's just so cute. In real life, Baymax is actually blind, and he only has one eye, so I thought maybe it might be cool to make one eye a different color, just to sort of represent the fact that he only has one eye, um, because clearly I couldn't actually give him one eye, um, so he has two colors eyes, <laughs> and he looks so cute, like I love him so much, I just want to scoop him up and cuddle him just like I do in normal life. So he's frisky, he's mischievous, and then he's also very curious. Um, I just think that totally represents what he is in his kitten state. So I'm going to go ahead and fix Finn, uh, make sure that he's all correct.
But I hope you enjoyed the video. I had so much fun making it. It was such a good time. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe. Check that notification bell if you want more um, about cats and dogs, because I'll be doing that all week. And to all you Sim Stars out there, I hope you have a barking good day.